Jones. They've got to get those back on as we do swap over. So the airplane is down. It's going to simply come to a stop. But then out of the trunk of the car come the, uh, well, the, the wheels that go out onto the wingtips, right? And then they've got a taxi and away. They are just for the ground handling. And the, the odd thing is, if you didn't notice, you probably couldn't see it from here, but on the takeoff, those outrigger wheels fall off, unlike what they do on the Harrier or the BP-2, where they simply retract. Give a wave to our pilot, our crew, our other pilot in the Dodge car behind as they taxi by the rare opportunity to actually see how it lands. Please give it up for those who uh, fly and work on the U-2 like my good friend here, Huggy. Yeah, that's Major Gray Kemp, call sign Utah Flying, and my operations officer at uh, the first round of squadron, the oldest squadron in the uh, United States military. Uh, Dan, Dan Goat, Lieutenant Colonel, call sign Goat. Well, I can't thank you enough. It's been terrific to have this open, and it's become a staple of the California Capitol Air Show. And Huggy, the rest of the crew are set up at the static display area, and you want a chance to meet everybody you can. We've got our U2 out there, a bunch of the pilots, our main engine maintainers, all of Team V on Recce Town. We've got EUD, everybody out there. We even brought one of our T-38s to take a look. So please come on by and say hello to everybody. And uh, the Ninth Reconnaissance Wing is here in force. This is our backyard show. We love being here every year. It's great to have you again, Huggy. Take Thanks, care. Rick. You take care. And you Cap California Capital Air Show. Thank you. And once again, your Vice Mayor welcomes you to the city of Rancho Cordova. Thank you, Siri, your Vice Mayor here. And of course, we can't do this without the support of the military. And I want to call the, uh, the Travis Air Force Base Wing Commander, Colonel Jay Johnson, to the mic. Good afternoon, ladies. The support agencies that make the U-2 Dragon Lady fly so well. And there she goes.